Hey everybody. <clears throat> so today we are going to be going over the Shine Chance brush because these have flooded Amazon recently and they all look vaguely familiar. So they're pretty cheap too. So I wanted to check them out and just get a bead on them, you know. So remember for the whole month of February, if you come in on any video, you will be entered to win the silicone hand and a uh, handstand from Know You uh, as my birthday giveaway. Um, this week we are going to be going over some more HEMA free products. I have a whole stack of them here. I finally ordered the Anacrylics, the Nude Collection, and their Clear so we can test those out. Still upset about that gift not brush thing though. So, okay. So we're going to go ahead and check these out. You know how I feel about metal handled brushes, but eh. So let's do some first impressions, shall we? Let's get up close. Okay. So I'm going to tell you right now, it already has kind of an orange cast, but the color in it is exactly as it should be, right? We have the color variation, dark at the tips. It looks good, right? We even have some white hairs in there. Crazy, right? But I see something a little odd and it's kind of hard to explain. Um, there appears to be a little ledge with the hairs and you can kind of see where a lot of the hairs are flat and then there's some that stick up which gives the appearance of tapering hair um i got i already cleaned all the starch out and whatnot but so it makes it look like it's tapering when it really isn't which would give it the appearance of real hair and we even have the gradual darkening Let's get her wet. And you can see almost like a straight line right here where the hair stops. And then there's more. That's, uh, that's odd. The color's good. Anyway. Okay, I wanna, this is kind of hard to describe, so I'm gonna try to show it to you best I can. If you go into the center of this brush, well, let's see, how close can we get? Pretty good. If you go into the center, you can see more orange. So it looks like, almost looks like there's a ring of sable around the outside and nylon on the inside. But I can't be 100%, so let's dip her and check and then we're gonna burn it because now we will be burning everything. So we got some wild hair, so there's clearly some sable in here. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see how the hair is at the end. At the end, it looks nylon. Kind of like, uh, we got that dark, oh, that's got pink dye on it, Never mind. Um, so at the end, we have that kind of dark green cast to it. Let me compare here for you. So let's take my Glitter Bells brush, right? Now, when this one's wet, it's also dark at the end, but you can see it's not, the texture doesn't change at all, and it doesn't have that green cast. It looks almost black. Whereas this one, when it's wet, we see that, oh, there it went. All the color's gone. <laughs> you can see the nylon now. Um, so you can see how it takes on kind of a greenish cast at the end instead of black. See what I mean? Let me be very clear. If you aren't comparing these, it is very hard to see. If it's, if it's standalone, the brush looks fine. The color's doing what it's supposed to. If you're not comparing it side by side to another sable brush, it is almost impossible to see. It, it looks real like because the hair doesn't change until it gets wet <laughs> Ooh. okay so that's a no on the shine chance but whatever i don't understand why it's so wild it looks like there's maybe like 15 20 percent sable that's just my estimate but i'm not big on math either so let's just give it a shot right may as well i'm still mad at saddle land yeah no there's a big old negative. That 
it's not holding any monomer, it released it immediately. All gone. Nothing in the brush. It feels like I'm using like a paintbrush or a fork. This feels like a fork on the, it feels like there's something missing in the brush head when I go to pat it. See what it's, yeah. No, no, no. And covered in acrylic already, but let's clean it out, why not? Oh, here, we did what, half a bead? You, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, I think we're done for the day. Ooh, let's burn it anyway. Why not? Let's do it. I'm enjoying this now. Th big thank you to Cobalt Clam, because I would have never thought to do this. And burning stuff makes me happy. I'm not gonna lie. It was one of my favorite things to do as a kid. burning stuff's a good time. All right, here we go. Yep. So they melted together. Ah, well, another day, another crappy brush from Amazon. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned and make sure you comment to be entered in the silicone hand giveaway, and I'll think of another giveaway for next week. I'm not sure what yet, though. Um, maybe some gel polish or some liner brushes. I don't know. So as always, thank you so much for watching.